a lot of you really enjoy the Theo build, and rightly so. Like I said before, I did not expect it to be this good. It fits perfectly within the meta, standing strong against tier 6 skill builds and DPS monsters alike. I love this build so much that I had to bring you some official legendary and PvP gameplay to show the best ways to use it. It's not the easiest build to master, it takes some raw skill, but if you get it right, you'll be driving players crazy. One of the reasons for this build is to show how the build fares in legendary content. Forget about heroic. I didn't even bother testing it in there because it's a cakewalk. But I did make some adjustments based on your feedback from the original build video, linked in the description. Someone reminded me about the Demolitionist Specialization, which boosts explosive damage. This does a couple of important things. One, it strengthens your concussion grenades, which in turn amplifies the damage from toxic delivery, the Val Mask's debuff. And number two, it unlocks the artillery turret, a must have for certain legendary strongholds. However, there's a trade off. Without the Technician Specialization, you lose that extra skill tier, which slightly impacts survivability. Whether you make the switch depends on your skill level and how comfortable you are playing more aggressively. Now let's talk about the artillery turret. This thing is a complete monster and legendary. On impact, it applies bleed, which activates toxic delivery and combined with the jammer pulse, you're dealing autonomous damage over time. Against black tusk enemies, it's unstoppable. Wrecking robotic dogs, exploding drones, and everything else with surgical precision. But one enemy gave me trouble. The Chunga. That thick armor takes some work to break through, but as you see right here, I had to get creative with my approach. I should mention that I'm running this solo, but this build really shines with a group when you're in a support role. It's perfect for paving the way for your DPS teammates, but that doesn't mean it's any less effective in PvP. Let me tell you, players were absolutely pissed. I can't count how many times I placed first just from points alone. The ability to destroy enemy skills is so satisfying and a direct counter to so many builds. Your teammates will love you. Also in PVP, this build is a huge hindrance to the Regulus users running a bulwark shield. It completely throws off their equilibrium. 
making them realize their protection isn't as safe as they thought. One player cornered himself, confident his shield would hold up, only to find himself completely exposed when his defenses failed from my jam repulse. This build punishes anyone who gets too comfortable relying on their skills. Quick tip, always use your other skill first. For example, Secret Mind, before deploying the jammer pulse. Once the pulse disables their shield or skill, you'll have your second skill ready to finish the job. In this clip, my explosive Secret Mind struck just after the jammer pulse, left the shield user vulnerable, putting him out the fight for good. But sometimes tougher teams require adjustments. Against one sweaty group, I swapped out my Secret Mind for the Firestarter Chem Launcher. That mind just wasn't doing it, you know? And it made all the difference in the world. This match was intense, but showcased how versatile the build can be, even in competitive settings. It was also the game where I snagged first place again. Oh, and another change I made, switching from the Pestilence to the Capacitor in PvP. Pestilence just isn't strong enough without weapon cores, but the Capacitor scaling with skill tiers makes it a perfect fit. 7.5 for each skill tier, that's pretty dope and here's a cool moment we faced a player running a fire starter <laughs> chem launcher build with the vile mask his fire spread was insane wiping us a few times but i countered by using my jammer paws to disable his skills giving my teammate an opening to secure the win plays like that are what make this build so satisfying overall theo is a blast to play especially if you're looking for something different it's ideal for players who like to complement their teammates' DPS with tactical support. If played right, this build creates a protective shield your enemies will hesitate to cross. And to give you some context, this is the kind of damage you'll be applying to enemy players. Because it was applied to me. The Val Mass ticks you see here, but <laughs> mine hits almost twice as hard. Now, I'll leave you with a full gameplay from a conflict match. No cuts, so you can see exactly how I run this build. Let me know what you think. Are you using Theo or a variation of it? And if you haven't seen the official build, it's linked in the description below. Also at the end of this video, I'll see you in the next one fam. Be right out. <laughs> These people with low armor are really... Oh, you guys are pretty tanky here. Nonetheless, they're gonna try to do what I gotta do. Follow my squad, cause I'm not immune to pause here. Watch the flank. Oh my god, ongoing directive. Dealing damage without even shooting my gun. <laughs> they swap spawns. I'm headed up top, yo. One's flanking right, flanking right. Watch the boost, watch the boost. I got your back, bro. The boost is being taken by allies. One's coming.
Oh my god. <laughs> this build is crazy. Boost about to expire. Yeah. Nice. Wait to see my stats. Uh, I bet you I got so many points. I did not know this Steel Parnell build was going to be this good. Another one. Y'all gonna be mad at me. An agent needs assistance. Around there. <laughs> Oh, good Agent jump. Down. He jumped out of it. Good stuff. Immediate medical Agent down. You don't have many reinforcements left. up y'all boost about to activate boost online there are no more rogue reinforcements Got him. Got him. An agent needs assistance. There are no more reinforcements. Good done. Good done. Go, baby. You know how many points I got in that game? GG's, yo. That surprised me.
that surprised me. This, this is gonna take over. I mean, this build is insane, yo. Look, I got second place. I knew I was d doing a lot of support damage, but I got a lot of kills too. <laughs> well, let me see. Six and one, let's go. Get them points. I gotta play another one. I'm sorry. <laughs> 